Ladies. Jelly Cube on here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another a, a test, another quick test. Hopefully it's quick. It may not work, it may work. I'm just trying it on this little piece of just a spare MDF board. It's not cut nicely or anything because I want to do an experiment on it. I want to try some of the modeling paste and if I can actually put the modeling paste on, pour some paint on it and then use tools to shape it. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. I mean, I use that to get the modeling paste out. I'm not sure which one. So if it works on this small piece to a certain degree and the modeling paste doesn't dry before I put the paint on, then I can do it on a bigger piece. So, all you can do is try, isn't it? You try these things that you think about, and if they work, they work, and if they don't, they don't. It's just a little bit of uh, materials that I'm actually um, going to use on these. So, it's no, no big deal if it doesn't work, but I have to try it, so okie doke. I might try this light modeling paste. Uh, so this one's a Montmartre one, and I got this online from Capriol Shabby Chic. So I want to make it chunky and see what I can do. I mean, I was thinking that I could even, you know, put put paint um, into the paste and then sculpt it. But I'm going to try this way first and see if it works. And, you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't, does it? So I just got to give it a try. So I think I've got more than plenty on there. You obviously don't have to use this much normally. I wouldn't have thought. Um, just going to cover it with it. So I'm just seeing if adding paint straight to this, whether I'll still be able to sculpt it with the paint on it. I did think about doing the shapes that I want in it and then pouring over it, but I want to try it the other way around. See, I, do, I don't do anything the easy way. I'll try it the hard way. So I'm going to leave it like that to see. Got more there, so I'm just going to use up the little bit of paint here. So I might just use a little bit of the brown I've got. Uh, well, this is burnt umber and gold. And let's just... Maybe I'll do like a little cup pour on it. Let's see. Just got these little bits of cups left. So I might just put gold. Ooh, and then some burnt umber. Might, uh, actually, that's metallic copper. This is burnt umber. So I'm just going to try and do it quickly because I'm not sure whether this stuff dries really quickly or not. I guess it, it's got to have a little bit of a... So, I've never done this one before. So, I have done the sculpting paste, but I've never actually done it with an actual pour over it. I've done it and stuck glitter to it and that kind of thing, but this will be interesting, I think. So, just as you see, there's no particular thing. Probably needs a little bit more paint. So I give it a bit more. I think, I think, I think. To keep remember to put the paint out of the way because I knock it over. Yeah, I've done, use the modeling paste and put glitter on it and um, used it to scrape into sort of, um, yeah, getting some kind of shape on it. I suppose I could get this to look like a piece of wood. So, not going to worry too much about where it's not covered. 
was, I'm going to finger pop it. That's all that it needed. Just a little finger pop. Right here. I need my cloth. Oh, I always forget my cloth. Thank you, Doc. It's, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it, I've got it. Rightio. I think that fine tooth one will be, won't show up enough. So I'm going to go with this like shark's tooth one and see if we get anything. a bit oh, well I suppose it's the paste isn't it I thought it was the paint but it, of course it's the paste now that would only see, I, you know it's I wanted to leave it that you can see the white of the paste through because that's what's going to give it the dimension so now I just have to really let it dry and see what I get with it so but it has definitely put um, a shape in there for sure so that works that one I think would have been a bit fine so but I suppose I can give it a go in a corner it's got little baby teeth that is actually scraping it off so I don't want to do that what do I do? Silly jilly. I knew I should. <laughs> that's, um, that's too fine because that was just scraping the paste off. So let's try this again if I can get anything out of it. So it's kind of um, got the shape. I will leave it to dry and I will be back. It'll either be a no-go or or something that I think that I can definitely work with on a bigger scale. But I'll just, um, just gotta try these things. So it might be a nice little wall plaque when it's finished to put some, um, where's my letters? Could put some, do you believe I've had them there a minute ago and they've gone. I had some letters or numbers yeah, so if it dried, you could put, you know, your house number 10345 or something on it, and then it's a little warp. Like, you could even push things into that, couldn't you, to dry? Quickly, quickly, what have I got to grab around my, that I could push in it to see if it dries in, you know, sucks that. Oh, you can't believe it when you want something. There's nothing around, and then when you're not looking for something, everything pops up. What have I got? Oh, got a leaf. No, a leaf won't look so good, will it? Uh, I've got some dolphins, but they don't. That's that's a shame. No, I'm unprepared. I'll just see what this looks like dried. We'll go from there. Okay, just straight back. I haven't. I've just found some. Um, luster stones so i'm gonna see if what they look like in it maybe i could do um something with the lust i want to see if, i want to see if things stick in it like that there luster stone so we'll see if all this I know that I'm going to waste a few stones here because I haven't set about doing a design or anything, but I'm just going to see if it looks anything. Still might be nice as a little wall, a wall plaque because it's done in um, marine MDF. So pushing it well down into the modelling paste to see if it sticks to it. So these whole containers, they're just little. They're for fish tanks, home decoration, pot plants and vases. I think they were like $6 from our local Bunnings store here in Australia, which I'm sure everybody has. Like, a, well, you have a Home Depot in um, the United States and I think in the UK they have, uh, 
I'm not sure what it's called. Um, I remember my sister's calling it something. Now I can't think. Uh, somebody remind me if you're from the UK, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll try these little light, little amber ones. And they kind of get lost in it, but they kind of look like water droplets actually, because you can see the color through them. So they're quite sweet sweet little things so it's just a test to see if this actually dries and you know stuck into the modeling paste which it should do because the modeling paste is is meant to go hard like like a plaster i suppose plaster of paris type thing so and then if it works what i'll do is i'll put my thinking cap on delegate you guys to work out something that we can do with the design I mean that's just a random thing that I've done really random isn't it I suppose I could have put my house number on it in the, you know you could put a name on it and then you've got the background anyway I just thought about I have got some of these little wood uh, cutouts that I got from Capriol Shabby Chic and I thought about oh I could put some of these on it they're like little I'll put the link on you could attach them and then it could be a wall plaque attach them or this bumblebee in a different one I've got this one so I don't know there's any number of things if anyone's got any ideas they'd like me to try um, if this dries nicely if it all dries well We'll go from there. So thanks so much for joining me again today on Crazy Antics and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.